40 percent. That is the percentage of voters who voted a straight ticket in both the 2012 and 2014 general elections. A proposed bill in the General Assembly could take away that option. News Channel 15's Lamar Holiday is here with what this could mean for voters and the Allen County Election Board. Lamar? Heather State Representative David Ober of Albion introduced the bill. It means voters will have to vote line by line for the person they want. Allen County Election Board officials tell me that could lead to more money and workers and longer wait times at the polls. Nearly half of you vote straight ticket, but if a proposed bill that was introduced this week passes, you'll no longer have that option. That bill was authored by State Representative David Ober. Party affiliation when it comes to voting I think is a trend that uh, will go away and that's why I think Indiana should, uh, should move towards uh, this uh, eliminating that uh, that option. Ober explains voters are looking at candidates' views and opinions and seeing if they match up with their own. This idea has been led by the state's GOP, but Allen County Republican Chairman Steve Shine is on the other side of this and doesn't agree with the legislation. First of all, I don't think it's appropriate uh, for any bureaucrat to limit the options of voters going into the voting booth. Ober says they're not eliminating an option, but giving voters a chance to make sure they see everyone and everything on the ballot. The property tax caps that were put on the ballot, how many people put straight ticket vote, uh, skipped over all of those nonpartisan and ballot questions and did not have an opportunity or missed the opportunity to weigh in. Indiana is one of 12 states that still allows straight ticket voting. Allen County Election Board members tell me they're watching this bill very closely. Officials say this could cause some huge problems for voters down the road. It possibly could make longer lines, um, longer behind the polling booth. We would have to increase the poll workers and um, increase our cost for freight to deliver the machines to all the voting locations. And State Representative Ober says if the bill passes, he's not sure when it will go into effect. Lamar Holiday, News Channel 15.